Hey, welcome back guys. So here's how you wire the FlySky A8S receiver into your fly controller using the TurnG Evolution. With the Evolution and this receiver, you have a few different choices of the, I guess you could say, output that you want. The receiver is capable of IBUS, SBUS, and PPM, though uh, with the Evolution, I don't know why, but SBUS does not work. So your only two options is PPM and IBUS. Which one should you choose? Well, basically, uh, iBus is going to require a UART port, so if you do have a free UART port you're, that's not being used for anything else, then I would recommend that because iBus is the best of the three. If you do not have an extra UART port available, or if your flight controller and firmware does not support iBus, then you can use PPM. If you do want iBus, it's going to be this white wire. If you want PPM, it's going to be the yellow wire that I have already removed. How do you know if your flight controller and firmware supports iBus or not? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I do everything by the trial and error method. I just try it out. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Switch to PPM. If you don't know how to locate a UART port, uh, just most flight controllers have either TX and RX written on the board itself, or you can look in the user manual. Specifically, the uh, white wire, if you choose to use iBus, needs to go to a RX pin, which is a receive pin on your UART. Just to give you a few different examples on this Omnibus, uh, it doesn't say this pin is a UART, it just says SBUS. But on flight controllers where it says that's an SBUS pin, that is actually a receive on a UART, so you can use that pin. Also, the same pin is used for PPM, so if you do choose to use PPM with a yellow wire, you would place it on the same pin. Uh, then you have other layouts like this SP Racing Evolution. If you look on the back side, you'll see where it says ground and 5 volts, so you would have your black wire, then red wire, and then you have R2, which means it's a receive for UART number 2. And that pin is also the PPM pin, so either wire would go to that same pin. Another type of layout, uh, here we have an SP Racing EVO, or my bad, MINI. You have ground, 5 volts, and then R1, which would be receive for UART number 1. Place your white wire there if you do want IBUS, or uh, you have a PPM pin here, and you would place your yellow wire on PPM. On the Seriously Dodo, we have ground and 5 volts, so black and red wire. PPM is on channel number one, and then it says uh, U3RX on pin number three. So that would be UART number three receive on channel number three. So place the white wire there or yellow wire here. All right, that's enough examples. You should have been able to figure out where the PPM pins and UARTs, the receive for UARTs are. So now go ahead and wire your receiver into the flight controller. Next on the evolution, we need to set up a few things. Also, if you haven't bound your receiver yet, then watch my last video. I'll leave a link for you in the description below. But we are going to go here and we want to go to output mode. If you did choose to use PPM, then you would select PPM. Don't, don't worry about what's over here. Uh, it's going to automatically ignore this. If you want iBus, then choose iBus, and don't worry about it, what's over here. It will ignore that. Once you apply power to the receiver, then you should get a solid red light. If you don't have that solid red light, then that means it's not bound. Once again, watch my last video, and I'll show you how to bind it. Now if we go into Betaflight, uh, let's go to Ports. and. For you guys that are using PPM, ignore everything I say on this ports tab. You will not choose anything on ports. This is only for the iBus guys. So if you did choose to use iBus, first uh, find the number for the UART that you placed your SBUS wire on. Like I showed you, most UARTs are numbered, uh, or in this case where it's just an SBUS pin, then you will just use process of elimination. Uh, it tells me that UART number 1 and 2 are over here, therefore this SBUS pin is the third UART. So because I have my wire on the third UART, I will come to Serial RX and turn on Serial RX. On your flight controller, if you uh, place the wire on UART number 1, 
then you need to turn off MSP and turn on Serial RX for UART number one because UARTs can only do one thing at a time. You can't send data and set this as a receiver at you know both at the same time. And that is only if you have a virtual COM port flight controller. If you are seeing USB VCP, then you can turn off MSP and turn on Serial RX. If you do not see USB VCP, this means your flight controller does not have a virtual COM port. It uses the CP210X driver instead. And in that case, you cannot place your receiver on UART number one or turn off MSP. Because if you turn off MSP for UART one, the USB is actually tied into UART one. So by turning this off, the second you save and reboot, it's gonna lock up your flight controller. And then you have to flash new firmware to unlock it. So only place a receiver on UART 1 if you have and see USB VCP here. If you don't, then you will have to use UART 2 or UART 3. Now let's save and reboot. Go to configuration. Now for you PPM guys, uh, the only thing you have to do is make sure you have PPM set right here. That's it. You're done. If you chose to use iBus, then uh, you will come to serial based receiver and then choose iBus. Now all of us can save and reboot. To test it out go to receiver and if you move your gimbals around it should be moving on your screen and you can also test out your switches. If you chose to use iBus and your you are not seeing this moving on the screen, then that means your flight controller and firmware does not support iBus. In that case, you would have to switch to PPM. So instead of using the white wire, use the yellow wire on the PPM pin, and also remember to go back to configuration and set this to PPM. That does it for this one, guys. Look in the description below. I'll leave some links for you to other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.